We're out here on the sun dance, going to 28 and a half. Ugh. Another frack out, this is day three. Life in the truck. Third. Weather network says minus 34. This morning, coldest part of the day, first thing in the morning, right when we're loading warm up through the day. Sundance is in good shape like always. So we gotta take country from Sundance out to the Wolf Lake. Wolf Lake to the Elk. Elk out to 620. 620 across Sunchild to Highway 11. Then we got to go west just a hair to location. Well, I thought I was told like a couple days ago before this all started that there's another package out there that we got to move to the location we're taking this stuff to. So be another fun filled day supposed to start snowing here. Oh, turn it down a touch, sweetheart. I got my radio down, it just pierced my ear. Thankfully, Kenworth has the speaker right by your ear so you can blow your eardrums. Hopefully the, the later end of the day. Bit, bit, bit tire chain free because we're going to be running them this morning to get through the sundowns to the wolf. A couple good hills. Stay tuned. Yes, yes, very nice, nice. 880 is grabbing his pen. An avalanche grab two 400s. We're not moving those. Scuggly there, the boss is grabbing the heavy one.
Empties, 58, wide and heavy. used to go right here. I don't know. I've never went that way. I've always gone this way. Everybody's like, stay left at the bridge. I'm like, oh, I think that's the only way I know. I want to check that out though. It looks like it'd be badass. This for the most part isn't too bad, it's a little bit steeper going back the other way, but once we come around the next bend and then it kind of climbs up a little bit more with a bit of a pull. I got my one bitched out set of chains on, which it already took off a broken cross rail. I was like, please hold. Please get me back to the shop one more day, maybe two. My second set is still a little better. I'm 
pretty light. I only got two tanks on. They seem to be empty for once, so.
shit, the tire chains are on fire. I don't even have a hot work permit. Fuck! It's been a long time since I spun out on a hill. Do you think I can squeeze by them there, or a bad truck, or they're probably likely finished cleaning up? Yeah, you're not getting by. No, I'm good. Uh, Tank truck there on uh, 636, please. Yeah, go ahead and come back. You can probably slowly sneak your way in here. Okay, sounds good. Good thing there's gravel behind me. Oh, almost went too far, Junior. Some people die doing this. Be under there in the tire and shit. It definitely is a sketchy feeling. I know I've had to try to like, been stuck on the spot, couldn't do nothing, so I had to uh, spin on a set, lying underneath the truck trying to just connect the outside legs. Some BS. It's not a good feeling. I didn't want to back down, that's for sure. It's kind of icy. I made some gravel <laughs> from that little crest all the way up to here. Didn't look that bad. But this is what happens when you have a one bitched out set of chains. Like, not much left there. They've been in and out of here lots. And it's usually fine with one step. Today, Waro Pedo tire chain. By the power of Grey Skulls. Uh, guy that trimmed his tire chains the other day. There we go. Nope. Piss some better. Fuck, pinched on the bottom. Fucking grip. <sighs> Roll back out of my holes. <sighs> oh, there we go. <laughs>
Stack of mats right in my way, so I don't know if I'll sneak in there. And it's got little legs. Well, the the pipe rack's got legs and they're down, so I can't put a pin in. Let's see if we can make. Catch one side, catch the other side, now it's slid over. See these little legs? You can't fucking take them off. You can screw them up or down, but... The other side is low. It's with the chain. It's not gonna suck on very nice. Picker probably dropped it off. Down. It's fucking stupid fucking legs. Anybody puts legs on there. I don't know how many times I've picked up catwalks out of like snowbank snow drifts and had issues with these stupid legs. Just have to make sure. Okay. My matting situation over here. Stay. I'll have to drag this out. Redo it. Hopefully that stays there. Ass. <clears throat> Fuck you. That stayed straight, anyways, but stubbies to the rescue. Always make sure you have a few of those. Yeah, it did stay straight. Good, that means it'll probably come off alright, too, and I won't have to fight for my right. For the picker.
right guy that spun out on the hill. We're only going to the going to the plant again to grab. You're golden, I'm just gonna sign out here. Grab the uh, ba -ba 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 snap. Well, there's a cutout mat for the wellhead and a beam mat for the rear so service rear. Should be able to. I barefooted it in all the way to six last uh, first time when I chained up when I left the lease. And it's about out on the hill. Happy little boy, Juan Bronson. There's dirt. Maybe just one extra. If you're whispering on the radio, I can't hear you. Almost drove over a pickup coming into the lease, the last click. Fucking. I call. He can't call. Leaving location. Coming out to the C ring, loaded. Hello. Didn't even react to me calling him an asshole. All the tank trucks that come to the plant chain up, coming in, but they're all super bees, so understood, but I'm sure they all got 650 horsepower. Happy low boy too, Bronson. Love it when you put stuff here in the summer. Sinks in the mud. Summer turns into winter. Winter turns into freezing hell. <laughs> right on Dallas Garage. I hope it's so frozen. Folds the mat in half. It's not that bad, but try doing it all day. <sighs> Pooped. Two loads ago, I said. He said, "You can go home after this one." I was fucking excited. It's a good thing I didn't go to town. Just about went too far as it is. So it's 30 foot beam cut out, which can be a nightmare if sometimes you don't get the get it on there right, right? So to fucking imagine that sliding to one side and catching pins. Rare, but it can happen when they're like, here, can you offload on this side hill? Not that there's ever a side hill at the wellhead, that's not normal. I'm still waiting for a back truck here.
And all my brakes suck. Somebody said they're coming in right away, I think. So it sounds like I don't have to come back tomorrow, but that means I'm on the board for a rail and rig move. We're going, I don't know where from, but going to Baytree, which is just the Alberta, <laughs> Alberta BC border, just um, it would be straight, would that be west? of like Spirit River, Rycroft, just before you cross the border, almost Dawson Creek. Not Dawson City, Yukon Territory, but... <sighs> Every, nothing's... Well, I'm not... Really, how many rows you got here? My band break. Everything's, everything's freezing up in the con... Everything's freezing up in the console. They put the D sign up or down. It's like psh, for like five minutes. Dogs seem to be working fine, but they're getting a little slow outside. I'm gonna have to give them a squirt and band break. I don't know if something let go or what, but it's almost non-existent, so it's probably moisture. Maybe I'm hoping. You know, it's been flawless ever since I started driving the truck after I set it up. And that's home, Jeeves. I'm like, I got no tail lights, half of my roll. I got a brake pot that's leaking when I, if I spike the tractor, get out to like maybe tighten a chain or whatever. It's pissing out of this brake pot. He's like, uh, could you rinse off the problem areas? <laughs> like, I'll try my best. Must be even colder here. Because she was sounding like it was pretty cold. Now you get that pinging from cold diesels. Hey Siri, can you tell me what the weather is in Red Deer? It's currently cloudy and minus 25 degrees mm. in Red Deer. Temperatures are heading up from minus 24 degrees to minus 19 degrees tonight. Mm. It's warming up. Cold. Thanks, babe. Brunch time. Uma ameaça foi detectada. Uma ameaça foi detectada. 